Hello again, this is Dara, and welcome back to Let's Play Fable 3. I know I've been out for a while, but um, I'm back recording, and hopefully I can keep on it this time. Uh, at least I got this uh, hi unexplained hiatus out of the way early in my Let's Playing career so that it doesn't affect the rest of it. Uh, why don't we enter the game, and I'll keep talking, and... Um, Maybe I will tell you the story of why I've been so absent recently. Um, so basically, uh, my girlfriend was in town and got... Well, yeah, that was basically it. <laughs> yeah, um, spent a lot of time together, and uh, it was fun, but not very conducive to Let's Playing. Um, also, you know, Christmas gets a little busy. You should keep checking my shop. You never know when I might have Let's a sale on. Um, what did we do last time? Oh, we did the gnomes. I remember that. Well, let's... Let's see... I think there's a new gift in here, so let's go check it out, if there is any. In with the new, I always say, though I prefer to keep the old handy as well. You never know when you might find a use for the old. Oh, thank you. A uh, free Yule hat. Okay, I guess I'll take it. Oh, confirm download. Okay. Didn't know it'd go through the active one. Okay, yes, I did, but, you know, I don't know. A uh, free Yule hat. A dog breed set. Let's download that, too. Sorry about making you watch the downloading things. Oh, thank you. Oh, I can't even use it until next time I play anyway. Screw that. Let's go see what other stuff is in, is here for us. I think... Oh, look! Presents over there! Your special gift is still uh, waiting for you to open it. Surely you have enough anticipation mm. by this point. And the full Monty. That appears new to weapons. be all Let's of the go gifts. Play with our new weapons. The armory is at your disposal. Thank you. Let's see. What is this? Um, Pistols are less accurate. Hero pistol, rifles, bone smasher, and more maneuverable. Muskets, musket. Hero pistol. What do I have right now? I think it's... Oh. Any other business to attend to? Okay, so B does that. I can't draw my weapon in this in this area. Let's see, let's... let's... Full Monty. Damage 35. Damage 39. I think... Let's see. Info? Pistol was one of Montague Hume's many feats of engineering. He hoped its existence would act as a deterrent to any of the citizens of Understone intending to start a riot. Understone. Oh, right! Because I downloaded the Understone DLC. I don't know when that comes into play, but I will cover it in this LP. Um, eventually. If I ever finish it, you know. Let's see, and... This one is used by Reaver's elite guards. The Marksman 500 can shoot a grain of corn from a chicken's beak at 100 paces. Unfortunately, most of the chicken goes with it. <laughs> I'm gonna equip the pistol. Pistols uh, pistols fire and faster cause a respectable and... amount of damage among uh, done with that. Let's go back out into the world and I think we need to Let's see, why did we do the gnome quest? Oh, right, we have to do side quests in order to make the resistance like us. Um, well, it says there's a four in Brightwall Village, two in Mist Peak Valley. Oh, uh, somebody told me to do a side quest called The Game. So I need to find that. I don't know where it is. What style? Um, over here, what is the, uh, Day at the Chicken Races, no. Pen is mightier. The penis mightier? <laughs> Points for whoever, uh, gets that reference. Uh, Brightwall Demon Door. No. Okay. 
Gotta search for this the game quest. Mercenary customs. Um Oh there. Oh no, that's a demon door. Okay, is it in the dweller camp? Geez, for a uh, special delivery. No. Geez, for uh, the amount of time I uh, spent away, uh, I guess I'm not being very interesting right now, am I? Let's see, what's Millfields? The final insult? Restoration? No. The Morningwood? Oh, please don't tell me it's with the hippies. Good, I don't think it's with the hippies. Uh, bored to death. Peace, love, and homicide. <laughs> I think I'll do that one if uh, I don't find the game. Power Stone Market. Where is it? The game! Here it is! Select. Set as target. Uh, fast travel. Okay. Now let's see what everybody likes about this quest. Because, like, two or three people told me to play it. So... I wonder if it has anything to, uh, anything to do with the game. You know, the game that you just lost. I didn't lose the game, though, because I read XKCD, and it said I won the game. So, are we all <laughs> set for tonight? I'm sorry. Oh. Where'd the glowing tri- Oh, there it is. Let's see. I've done- I don't believe it! You're a hero! I mean, you're a real hero! That's just what we need! Salutations! We are three magi of great power! I am Madron of a Thousand Faces, and this is Caliph, Lord of the Fairies! And lo, as I have attested, there is a third who is counted among our number! Oh, for goodness sake, Mark! My mum wants me home for supper! Fine. They're role and players! Lo, that's Jim. <laughs> now, Princess Frexia has been taken by an evil baron to another plane. Will you rescue her? All you have to do is take this magic orb, and you'll be transported uh, to the Baron's realm. What say you, hero? Will you aid us? Will you They're... aid her? She Why is Why did they put role players in Fable 3? <laughs> oh, I actually play Dungeons & Dragons, but uh, this is ridiculous. Oh, okay, we need to figure out what's going on here. What? No, I'm shrinking! I don't know what that sound I've just made was. Just uh, ignore it and let's move on. I want to see what happens when I enter the world of this fantasy, fantasy role-playing game. <laughs> Man, that's so meta. I barely hero even waits. understand what meta Long means. had he harbored thoughts of vengeance against the evil Baron. Get on with it! <laughs> Philistine. Money Python reference. So it was that the hero came to the little village of Lightwater, a pretty hamlet nestling under the brooding battlements of the evil Baron's castle. I don't want to enter the village yet. I want to see what's over here. Absolutely nothing's over here. Uh, okay, enter the village. Our hero resolved to talk to the townsfolk and see what he could find out about the missing princess. You're kidding, right? Missing princess? If the hero starts talking to all the villagers, we'll be here forever. Well, some players like talking to people, immersing themselves in the story world. <laughs> this is like when you told me people read item descriptions. No one reads item descriptions. <laughs> yes, they do. As it happens, Arturo, the gatekeeper, knew exactly what had happened to the princess. Hey, shut up. You're ruining it. I wrote tons of lines for the villagers, and I think some of them are really cool. Look at them, they're all cardboard cutouts. Cool. Oh. Looks like old Clem is up. <laughs> Hail, hero! I am old Clem, <clears throat> the blacksmith. I make weapons, and if you bring me some sky metal, 
I can make you a magic sword. What's sky it's metal? a thousand gold per plus. So a plus three sword is three thousand <laughs> gold. Oh, and I, I oh, and I can't make anything more than a plus three because I'm only a journeyman blacksmith. <laughs> bit early in the adventure for anything above a plus three. It's on balancing, you see. <laughs> uh, forging doesn't work. Uh, I didn't have time to do the models. Are you serious? A game like this is all about customization. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if this is a game, can I become Pun Pun? <laughs> uh, many of you probably don't know what that is, but anybody who got it, I hope they're I laughing. I am Mildred. A humble milkman. <laughs> to brighten my joyless days, I daydream about a handsome nobleman, strong enough to dispatch highwaymen, but gentle enough to hold me for hours. Sorry, in his you're warm, a little too deep for my taste. arms. Hang on, who's talking here? You or Mildred? That was Mildred. <laughs> what about the princess? You should say that Mildred saw some hobs carrying a large wriggling bag. But she didn't. And that she's really hot. Uh, and yes, we are talking to everybody. Oh, the hero's approaching Horace. Brilliant. Ahem. Horace. Let's talk to Horace. Greetings, mighty hero. I am Horace, the most gifted poet of our age. Shall I recite a sonnet for you? Oh, radiant orb, into the sky rise and illuminate for mine mortal eyes my true love's face and in silhouette frame her slender and curvaceous frame Why? what do you think guys nice frame with frame i guess the most gifted poet of our age doesn't <laughs> own a thesaurus uh, that was absolutely terrible this is why I don't do poetry in Dungeons & Dragons games. Excellent! Hero's gonna talk to Arturo. Now we can get things moving. Indeed. Let's move on with the plot. Greetings, stranger. I can see from your good looks and heroic demeanor that you must be on a quest to rescue the <laughs> princess. I saw her yesterday carried off by the Baron's evil servants, a troop of hobs. They took her through this gate to the castle on the hill. What? Of that's course. it? No clues to solve or anything? Of well, the hero has to figure out how to get up the hill. You mean, like, by climbing it? <laughs> hey, no spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> and of course, we get our main quest pointed out to us by the creepy old guy. It's always a creepy old guy, isn't it? Except he wasn't in a tavern. Where's the tavern? Shouldn't this have started in a tavern? Uh, I can't go into the, any of the buildings. No, oh, that's okay. Oh, sign. What does the sign say? Click, click, ha click, click, haven, click, haven. No, I don't know. Let's just move along. The hero decided to investigate the eerie tower on the hill. You told me to. It's not very eerie, though, is it? <laughs> then you did the tower, didn't you? Yeah, but I thought you said pretty. What kind of adventure has a pretty <laughs> tower on a hill? Be quiet, you two. I'll deal with this. Whoa, what? What did... Ah, now you're talking. Oh, God, wolves. 